Hello guys. Welcome back to my garden. That's my cat Noah right there. I thought I would um do like another quick little video, just an update um on my garden. Because this is honestly this is like the most joyous time of the year for me because I just watched the season change so rapidly and spring just unfold so rapidly and the changes in my garden, they just come so fast, you know? And like, how long was it since I posted that last video? A week? Maybe a little over a week? And I'm just seeing such amazing growth already in the garden. So, you know, it may be hard to see it from far away. I don't know, maybe you can. But I'm going to zone in on some things. Um, look at these lettuces. They're like almost ready to harvest. My petunias are blossoming. Look at that gorgeous color. Elysium is blossoming. We put, we did update this bed. So you'll see some new things in here. We got our snapdragons, just put them in the ground. Um, got some more milkweed because once the caterpillars come, I don't see any eggs yet, but the monarchs are out and about. So, you know, they'll be, they'll be laying eggs on this milkweed and when the caterpillars come, they get very, very hungry and they eat fast. So here you can see some regrowth on this milkweed. I had this last year, but it's all coming up. And even this one here looks ooh, looks like it's a dead stick, but you can see some new growth there. That's what it looks like. This is for the butterflies. Um, the sunflower, the sunflower seeds my dad put down did not sprout. Not the ones that I had because I think the seeds were old. But these ones he grew. He had them in his own garden, and he transplanted a few because he knew I wanted some. So I've got one there one here we put down some marigolds i'm so excited for this bed um and then he if you see those little green shoots there he put he planted some jalapeno peppers so that's gonna be exciting and you see my geraniums they're blossoming i love this color i love this color such a hot fiery red oh it's just amazing i love geraniums i think they're so underrated and honestly guys i was sitting out here yesterday um and i was thinking i'm gonna do a series on underrated flowers i think all the flowers are underrated but um i think that's what i'm gonna do um so let me know if you'd be into that i didn't show you guys this last time so this is my parsley well, you know, some parsley. I've got some other parsley in the ground over there. But I didn't show you guys my paddle plant last time. I stole this little baby. It was just like a little baby, little baby, baby shoot. I stole it from somebody's garden. They had a lot. So I took one. It grows up and it grows big. And they are amazing. I'm obsessed with succulents. But those, oh my god. So excited to get enough of that to be able to like really um, plant it in lots of places. So look at my, look at my broccoli. Tell me, tell me it hasn't like doubled in size since my last video. Honestly, look, I've got broccoli flowers already. I've got broccoli. And my dad just harvested his broccoli. It's beautiful. It's got all this beautiful broccoli. It looks like he bought it from the store. It's amazing. And this is cauliflower, I believe. I don't see any little ones yet, but they'll be coming up. And look at this lettuce. It's like ready to harvest. Isn't that amazing? I've got some green onions here, some scallion. Those are super easy to grow as well. Like you don't have to have a green thumb and you don't even have to buy them from the store. You can like, you can literally just save the roots that you cut and stick it in the ground. That's what we do. Look at these tomato plants. They are creeping. So we've tied them to the sticks now. 
to give them some support. And this petunia is taken right off too. Isn't it beautiful? I love petunias. That's another um, flower that I am kind of obsessed with. I've got a rose on my rose bush. This one, you know, it flowers a lot and then it'll go quiet for a little bit. But you can see some new growth there. See that purple branch? There's another one there. That's new growth. More geraniums. This one's a beautiful hot pink. Ah, oh, love it. Mint is standing up tall. Um, more mint in the corner. My dad just turned over the soil yesterday because, oh, he planted the rest of my milkweed here. That's a good idea to put some of the back. Um, this is lemon balm. That's springing right up. Here's some more parsley. Some more sweet marjoram over there. I need more sweet, sweet marjoram. I feel like he kind of was cheap with that because I use it a lot. But I have some plants in the little concrete blocks over there. See that patch of mint? Um, and look at my nasturtiums. They are really taking off. So I need to create that trellis soon so they don't start going wild because they will they will um climb right over this wall and they'll just they'll just go everywhere you know so i need to give them something to climb up um so i need to do that asap he also took some cuttings off of like a little shrub i have over there and replanted it and looks like it's doing well this will grow to be really really leafy and it has like purple flowers deep purple flowers like daisies looks like he put some in here too with the jasmine and this is a frangipani um that he's propagating as well i think it's the i think it's the bright pink one which is exciting i don't really have a lot of space for big trees in my yard but anyway so yeah, the next project will be working on this, what is supposed to be a rock garden. We created it a few years ago when I first started my garden. It just kind of turned it, turned into a mess. This is the thing that turns with the purple flowers. So you'll see those bloom in a few weeks too. Really pretty deep purple flowers look like daisies. Got some aloe back there. A oh, wild wow, locust and honey. Did I show you guys this one last time? I can't remember. And this thing here, I took this from somewhere. It's, um, it also has purple flowers, like really wispy. It likes to hang though. And mine's not flowered yet. So I think maybe it needs something to crawl up and trail over. I don't know. But anyway... Um, really exciting. Spring is definitely in the air. You can smell the freesias on the wind. My neighbor's yard to the left of me, they've got like their whole front yard is full of freesias. And I really want some freesias for my grass here too. But you have to plant them like, it takes a couple years before they will start to flower. But I just want to show you this hedge here. So my hedge, this is actually a cherry tree hedge. Um, Bermuda cherries, well, we call them Bermuda cherries. But the variety is also, I don't know what the actual Latin name is, but they're also known as Suriname cherries or Brazil cherries, I've read. So, uh, Saturnarium, if you're watching this, tell me, do you have these cherries in Brazil? It's just flowering now. See these little white flowers? They smell really nice too. They're nice and fragrant. But they will turn into... I'll have cherries. I'll have red cherries on this tree. And the cherries are like very sour and sweet. I love them. They're a really good source of vitamin C. And good for your blood too. 
Um, so yeah, and and these grow like so wild in Bermuda. I think they were introduced to the island once to deal with some sort of bug problem. Um, but like everywhere, like most houses, most hedges, they will use this to create a hedge because you can train it and cut it in a certain way to create a hedge. Or you can just have it like a standalone tree. We also have like a, a tree over the other side of my house, my my dad's house. And, and that's where I usually go to actually... Um, when I want to harvest cherries, like if I want to do something with them, um, like, you know, make something with them. But yeah, it's really coming along. I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited. I'm so thankful to my dad for giving it the love and attention that it needs. Um, and me and the girls have been enjoying our days out here and I'm really looking forward to an exciting spring. So I'll keep you guys updated um as as things continue to blossom thank you for being here see you next time